How's it going everybody? Shockwave984 here and today is going to be a little special video and this is going to be part one of a three-part uh, video series of our entire Steelbook collection. So yeah, uh, our regular Blu-ray and uh, or, yeah, regular Blu-ray and DVD and video game uh, Steelbook collection has grown quite big <laughs> what I noticed over the last like couple years so I figured it would be nice to go ahead and um, show you guys. So uh, yeah, so with that, let's go ahead and get started. So I emptied just two shelves for right now. Uh, so this is going to be on uh, some of our regular Blu-ray and DVDs so far. And then the second part will be uh, some other regular ones and then some anime, animated stuff. And then the third will be on video games. So alright, so part one, let's start out with... Sukiyaki Western Django. There you go. Got this a while back. Showed this in a haul. It's actually really good. Not bad. There you go. Nice Western action. Quentin Tarantino makes an appearance in here. He's actually pretty cool. <laughs> it's like, is that Quentin? <laughs> there you go. And interesting, um, what really makes this film... Um, pretty interesting and um it has like a, a big like japanese cast and stuff they speak english and some of them speak it quite well some you know it maybe not quite as well but it's pretty interesting they went they went with it that way um yeah and this is a takashi uh Mike, uh film uh you can just look up like his uh his other movies he's done quite a bit so next up we have RoboCop, the 20th Anniversary Collector's Edition. And, uh, oh, the Sukiyaki one, that is DVD, and this is DVD as well. This, you get both the theatrical uh, version and the, uh, I believe it's called Director's Cut or Extended Version. There you go. And you get some nice extras. And you see Peter Weller, or excuse me, Peter Weller <laughs> as RoboCop himself. Still love this film to this day. Really awesome. Next up we have Star Trek. The original, uh, this is the first of the three with Into Darkness and uh, uh, Beyond. This is DVD. I have found like Blu-ray editions of this. Uh, but I think it was like in the UK and I think Europe. Something like that. Um, I don't, or maybe Australia. Uh, I don't know there was a Blu-ray edition of this in the States, but uh, I, I found it for DVD. And uh, we do have the first two films on Blu-ray uh, with the uh, Compendium set, because the way these were released, yeah, there's like a lot, you can find videos on it, it's very strange. Uh, and then here is Into Darkness with Benedict Cumberbatch right there in the middle. Great film. So yeah, uh, like this, for instance, was released in many different versions. Uh, I mean, yeah, there's a big thing about the extras to these films, but there is a compendium where you get this one. All the extras are with it, and all it comes with the original film also and all its extras. So yeah, but the original film had like a three disc set. So we do have Beyond, it's just in a regular uh, Blu-ray case, and it's a three disc uh, Best Buy exclusive. So, which has like uh, more extras on it. So now we're getting into the comic book style steelbooks. Here is Shaun of the Dead. So now we're into the uh, Blu-rays. Had this for quite a while. Still a great film. And The Big Lebowski. Oh man. Awesome, awesome movie. And... I did hear a rumor a while back, or it was something that was floating around, that there might be a script uh, that might be considering, or might be being considered as a remake or reboot of this film. Um, pretty interesting. I'm not sure if that's true or not, so if anybody knows, please uh, uh, leave a comment about it. <laughs> Next up we have Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Another really good movie and Paul with the guys from uh, Shaun of the Dead and Zeph Rogen that's Paul right there great comedy there you go two really good comedies uh, great action in this one 
This one's got some pretty big, uh, this one has a pretty nice cast. They both do. And now we're entering, or excuse me, entering the uh, Pop Art Steelbooks. Here is Super Bad. There you go. And Leon the Professional, or Leon. I've also heard her pronounced that way. There you go. Two really awesome films. Here you see Natalie Portman on the cover, right there. There you see Super Bad with all the beer bottles. <laughs> And the sun's going in and out. We've had like a uh, like a storm kind of pass by. So if the light goes in and out, I do apologize. <laughs> and then next up we have 10 Cloverfield Lane. Oh man, this one I saw in theater. And there you see with the staircase right there. Monsters come in many forms. Yes, they do. <laughs> John Goodman. Scary as heck in this movie. I He did an awesome job. Next up we have, this is one that one of my brothers got me, uh, Transformers The Last Night. And this is a really nice steelbook. I don't know if you guys, it's really shiny, nice and glossy. So, pretty good film. Um, I hear that there might be, uh, uh, or I think it was known that it's either getting a reboot, or I think there's like a spinoff with these films. So, yeah. Right. Next up we have Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man Tell No Tales uh, This was pretty good um, There you see night. It's uh, Excuse me, it's nice and embossed right there There you go uh, This is another one one of my brothers got me And um, I'm really curious as to where they're going with this series Like how many more are they trying to do Or are they going to take a break or... Yeah, just really curious. Um, this film was alright though. I thought it was okay. And next up we have the third film in the original trilogy of The Lord of the Rings. There we go. And if anyone's wondering, yes, we do have The Hobbit. I have the uh, extended edition uh, Blu-rays. There you go. This is the only steelbook of the originals that we have. So, yeah, really nice. Still love Lord of the Rings. And next up, this is one of my favorite ones that uh, that we happen to own. Turbo Kid, the Blu-ray DVD Collector's Edition. And this is a Raven Banner releasing presents. Uh, I guess that's the company. I found this used for like, uh, what was it? I think like $12, $15. And I've only heard about Turbo Kid, but I didn't like go deep into like research because I wanted to check it out for myself. And boy, am I glad I'm... Am I glad I did? <laughs> Sorry about that. Really great film. This was just really fun. And this has a really nice like slip cover right there. And then in the back, all this text comes off. There you see right there. There is another steelbook of this. I think it was um, maybe another limited edition. I'm not sure if it's by the same company, but I think it just has like his weapon that he's using on the cover. And stuff but I really like this one really awesome all right so now let's go ahead and fill up the first shelf all right there we go and stand up all right, there we go. So it does it for the first shelf. All right, so next up we have, these are uh, pop art editions of Ghostbusters, the original film. There is a second one that has like the river of slime on it. I'm still on the lookout for that. So hopefully I can find it. There you go. And the extended edition of Ghostbusters 2016. Or I guess even the regular Blu-ray edition uh, says that as well. So I guess you just get the extra footage. So there you go. Really nice steelbooks. And these are still wrapped because I just happened to find these uh, recently. Because we have the uh, Digibook edition of 
the first two films and then I happened to find the regular edition of this used so and these were just kind of like as like a collector's item still a great classic this one I think really could have been better <laughs> it actually should have been <laughs> so but you know there was a lot of stuff going on with this and just really weird there you go and next up we have the hunt for red october with sean connery and alec baldwin great thriller uh action um suspense great film edward scissorhands i love this movie uh, i've seen this quite a bit growing up and it is really weird like this is a 25th anniversary edition uh, just like the style of it and so I don't think I've seen anything like this um, before I saw this movie so yeah really interesting and those I happen to find used the Ghostbusters ones I found those uh, brand new next up we have 007 the Daniel Craig or excuse me ugh, can't talk today <laughs> the Daniel Craig collection there you go so this has the first three films. Uh, it doesn't have Spectre, which was the last one. Uh, I did get that separately. I found that used along with this. And I actually found the Target, ex Target exclusive edition of that, which comes with like an extra special feature. And then uh, next up we have Laura Croft, Tomb Raider. This is the original Angelina Jolie. There is a second one called The Cradle of Life, if I remember correctly. I have seen that. I really like the first one. This one I actually saw in the theater. And this is part of like a set of new releases, uh, or or rather new and re-releases of newer and older movies. And uh, I'm glad this got one. It's really nice. Yeah, because even uh, Ghost in the Shell has one, the, the live action movie, and that's not that old. So, yeah. Oh, sorry if I bumped the camera there. Next up we have Ben Stiller's Zoolander, the blue steelbook. There is an edition of this where you get like the, the headband and the wig. <laughs> it's really cool. I have found that, but I just got this one. Still a really good film. Um, you know, R.I.P. Uh, uh, David Bowie. He has a little cameo in this. It is really, really fun. Uh, I thought his little part was cool. Really good movie. I thought it was... Uh, it's kind of weird seeing it now <laughs> but uh, I thought it was funny next up we have Elysium there you go with Matt Damon and now there's a really cool effect here where all the metal parts here get really shiny there you go I don't know if you guys can tell right there try not to have it too shiny but uh really good action movie I guess action maybe a little sci-fi because of the technology Next up we have Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. There we go. This is the uh, limited edition steelbook. That, uh, there is like a regular one. It's, it's like white and red and stuff. This one comes with the, uh, that's just a single Blu-ray which just has a film. This comes with a bonus disc with uh, some features like from Comic-Con and stuff like that. So I believe it was Target? Sorry, Target or Best Buy? This is from Found This Used. There you go. And next up we have a couple of uh, collections. There you go. So th now we're on the last two for part one. So here is the Steve Austin movie collection. Four movies uh, to be exact. So we have The Stranger, Hunt to Kill, The Package, and Maximum Conviction. This is really nice. Really, really cool. Steve Austin, uh, still one of my favorite wrestlers. Uh, he was great. Uh, and he, he had been uh, wrestling for years, too. Really long time. There you go. Oh, stay up. There you go. <laughs> and then last, last up for part one, uh, three films I used to watch uh, quite a bit, especially the first one, Back to the Future, the 30th anniversary, tri or excuse me, trilogy. And this I found used along with the uh, like the Steve Austin, Django and stuff. 
And this was pretty pricey. It was like, uh, what was it, like 25 pretty much 30 bucks with tax. This is a limited edition, but it made sense because this is pretty much brand new. It's in great shape, really great condition. And Back to the Future, of course, there are a lot of different versions you can get. Really glad I was able to find this one. And then we'll just stand that one up. There we go. Alright, so let's go ahead and zoom in. I'll zoom in on this one. So yeah, that just about does it for part one. Do a little pan for you guys there. There you go. So let me know what you guys think. Have you seen any of these films or do you have any of these steel books? Uh, you know, what did you guys think? And uh, yeah, are you looking to find any of these or yeah, feel free to let me know. So with that, stay tuned for part two. And with that, like the video if you do, subscribe if you like, and I will see you guys next time.